Welcome to Let's Talk About Health, an informational podcast that gives you insights on health and fitness from experts themselves that you can apply directly to your own personal health and fitness stories. Come join me today to hear all about what they have to say on health and fitness. Yeah, Bhavna, we want to start. Let's start. Let's dive in. So uh, today we have Dr. Smita with us and uh, she is a guru of Ayurveda. I am so happy and grateful uh, for you to join us today. Uh, thank you for, you know, taking the time out and uh, having this conversation with me. Let's talk about health. So let's dive in and go to our first question. That's what do you think about health and fitness? What is your definition of health? Yes. Okay. Sorry. What do you think about? Can you repeat the question? What do you think about? Sure. Um, I'm sorry we got froze up for a minute, but let's continue. Uh, so let me start by introducing you first of all. So today we have Dr. Smita here. She's a guru in Ayurveda and I've been following her page and her work for such a long time now. Uh, she has amazing content like you all can see. And um, let's start by talking um, about health. So my first question to you is what do you think about health and fitness? What is your definition of health? Yeah, lovely question, Bhavna. So basically, a lot of people think that if you are fit, for example, like I am perfectly uh, under weight is under control and my every parameters are under control and you feel you're fit, then you're healthy. It's not true because lot of people you have seen you have heard many evidences and episodes where suddenly a very young guy looking very fit a famous guy suddenly was hospitalized you we know about susmita chain we know about vivian there are so many other people who had such a huge um, emergency mm -hmm. and why because they were not healthy the health truly means actually Besides being fit physically, you should be free from the illness or unwell-being. You should have an abundant energy. In your life, you should be able to jump and work <laughs> and full of that light on your face all the time and happiness. Emotionally happy, mentally very focused. So you are whatever you do, you are doing it very well. And that's the way your the definition of health is this is right. the definition of health basically happiness i like that no one has ever told that you know to be full of yeah. joy to be and, and, of if you're, and also this is very interesting bhavna i see pulse across the world and my ayushakti doctors travel to america and many parts of the world and we we see every year more than 120,000 consultations right. together, okay? Right. So, and it's very interesting when you look at the pulse of somebody and you say, okay, you have blood sugar imbalance, you have blood pressure. No, 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 it's all under control, it's all balanced. Yeah. And so, but then when you go on, then you realize that, okay, they are dependent on anti-hypertension medication, uh, anti-diabetic medication, anti-cholesterol medication for more than eight, ten years, and they think it is under control, so I'm healthy. That's not health. Health is something where you don't have to take any remedies, nothing. You don't have to take the chemical medication. You can take support of natural supplements. It doesn't mean you are unhealthy when you take natural supplements because they are like vitamins that just supporting and nourishing your system. Right. But so that's really the health. That's what I need to say. Right. So beautifully you put it out there. I love that. Thank you for the definition. I mean, I never thought of a health in such a way. This is something really new and interesting for me also. Uh, you were saying about, you were talking about the natural supplements. Is Ayurveda what that is? Can you tell me a little bit more about Ayurveda and how you discovered Ayurveda?
Ayurveda and how? And how you found out about Ayurveda? How did you mm. discover it? Mm-hmm. Very good question, Bhavna. And and uh, I see Manisha. Wow, there are a lot of nice people. I saw Naman. He is also <laughs> known to me. There are good people here. I'm so happy to see them. So basically, when I was, um, you know, uh, uh, it's a long story, but I want to say it in a very short way. Okay. Right. Um, my my forefathers were all Ayurvedic vaidyas, Ayurvedic doctors. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's how my maiden surname, in fact, from Vyas, it became Vaidya because of this. So, <clears throat> so when I was just 12 years of age, right. which was 1974 or something like this, I had a severe 10 or 12 years, 72 or 74. Um, I don't remember exactly here, but I had terrible, terrible, terrible cooling. Uh, pain in my stomach so bad so bad i was rolling screaming and i thought i'm going to die and the doctor my my father who wasn't way there so he just called a regular doctor family doctor thinking this is an emergency then the, the doctors that time you know we didn't have a sonography and all the diagnostic system that we have it now so the doctor said in 24 hours, if she doesn't get rid of the pain, you will have to do the enema. Uh, sorry, we'll have to do the surgery because it will be appendicitis for sure. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> I kind of, uh, you know, um, um, I heard that and I was like so scared of surgery. My father was, so he called this, uh, uh, my uncle who was a very famous Ayurvedic Vaidya in my village. Right full of patients every day like hundreds and hundreds so he calls and that uncle gave some recipe and gave some herbs that he got from ayurvedic store and i took the herb and he gave me enema based on my uncle's recipe which Mm -hmm. had castor oil practically everything from the kitchen a simple castor oil uh, jeera cumin and um, ginger and fennel seed and uh, uh, rock salt and just simple things from the kitchen and uh, he gave the, me the enema and immediately I passed a lot of stool and gas and suddenly all the colic was gone. The inflammation like I I was feeling this tender sw- swelling that was gone also. The doctor came he pressed it over there earlier when he pressed I screamed like mad. Now he presses nothing happens. He said the inflammation is gone. So there is no, you know, no, no appendicitis possibly now. The inflammation is gone. And I never had this pain after that. So I was fascinated by all these experiences in my life right. ever since childhood. I grew with that. And then I, when I grew up after my uh, finishing my studies, regular studies of Ayurveda, I met Dr. Naram, my late husband, Dr. Pankaj Naram. Right. And uh, he really was learning very deep pulse reading from an old master, 124 years old, wow. who followed Siddhaveda lineage. Siddhaveda lineage, like it's a tradition in Ayurveda, you know, where we follow a specific principle of health. We are specialized in pulse reading, marma pressure point uh, treatments and detoxification. He also specialized in surgery, which I think we have lost at the moment. We don't know those scriptures are, I've got a lot of scriptures from this lineage and we are translating them, but we haven't come to yet surgery scripture. So he was a physician uh, to Lord Buddha. So this is like our main, 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 main head of the lineage, Vaidya Jivaka. He taught us how to do this and that is how we really uh, learned this. So my my own master Babaji, Baba Ramdas, was he lived up to 124 years and my husband learned pulsating from him and I learned it partly from him and fully from my late husband Dr. Naram. So that is how I was inspired because I saw every day in his clinic people coming with severe chronic health issues and they felt 
very good just by following diet home remedies and some simple herbal formulas that's it and few de home based detox which i am going to share in this live also with all these people who have joined today so they can use this detox in their life immediately so that's what my journey of ayurveda i love that that's so beautiful how you started as a being a patient and now you're the doctor and now you have so many patients out there so many people that you're helping out so that's so beautiful yeah you, you were yeah. talking about the detox uh uh you know uh recipe uh, would you like mm. to share now absolutely actually i always tell people and that is my concept of health you know right. um uh, where uh, i mean uh, diet lifestyle uh, uh, exercising includes in lifestyle pranayam includes in lifestyle diet sleeping in the right format everything is completely uh, these are the tools but basically principally treat your body as a house of soul i always tell people that this body is house of soul yes you know our soul lives there and and uh, according to ancient scripture the soul is in, immortal a bright light which stays inside your heart right. and this bright light gives you a sense of uh feeling this is right this is not right whatever based on your journey of the soul of the past birth etc so this soul has a shine and that shine can be blocked it cannot glow your face and glow your health if you have physical toxins in the body if your body is 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 ill or damaged just like our house you know our house when it begin uh, every year we are maintaining it right christmas diwali easter we all clean our house we repair it we make it new by painting it wherever necessary same way this body is house of soul mm -hmm. and it, uh, it and it is our duty to keep this house of soul very healthy clean and strong yes so you can keep it clean by detoxifying regularly and specifically there are symptoms of toxins you have many people who are fit but they have these symptoms of toxins still in their body like there is some kind of a imbalance in metabolism so sugar cholesterol um uh, blood pressure or Uh, liver parameters are not normal always slightly imbalanced borderline sometimes that is one sign that you need to work on your body mm -hmm. then the second is that after you eat food suddenly you feel like sleeping you want to drink a coffee only then you can stay awake this yeah. this means that your gut health is poor it's a beginning sign of your ill health or the joints are not exactly so flexible and agile you have to constantly there is always injury when you do excessive workout so these are different signs of uh, illnesses or or toxins in your body you feel tired suddenly there is no energy suddenly there is weight gain weight loss so when you feel this sign you have to do this immediately a simple thing a one week of detox i tell everybody to do this one week of detox which is extremely good because it is powerful than any fruit juice detox or any other detox why it it stimulates your metabolism and your digestion that's why so you can go on mung and vegetable fasting for a whole week and then uh, <clears throat> and and remember only mung and vegetable soup <laughs> bauna <laughs> i want to share one one story quickly you know i uh, i was working in the clinic one day uh, in india and there was this woman uh, around 50, uh, 50 years ya yeah, roughly uh, menopausal stage so obviously all bloated very difficult to lose weight when you are in menopausal stage right so she was bloated so big and and the, she came with the husband and said that you know after two months we have our 25th anniversary and my husband says i'll buy a gown i want to wear a special gown we are going on a cruise yeah. uh, for the anniversary <laughs> i want to wear a special gown i want to lose at least 20 kilos in two months 
<laughs> so we started a very deep detox. We call it healthy me detox. But before that, we prepared her for seven days. I said, you do mung and vegetable fasting. Yeah. Only that's it. Nothing else you should take and come after one week. And I was hoping she lose around two kilos at least in one week. Right. She come, she gain two kilos instead of <laughs> losing it. And I said, my God, what's going on? <laughs> Uh, and the husband proudly says, you know, she followed your diet perfectly. You know, she is the Gujarati. We are Gujarati, and Gujaratis are great cook. I am Gujarati too, so I know it. And, and you know, she made sixty recipes from mung bean. Oh she created God. mung mung pakoda, mung halwa. <laughs> Halwa is a is a sweet recipe. Pakoda is a deep fried. So I realize I have to be very clear. So my dear friends, don't eat fried and sugary things in this period. Just soupy vegetables. That's it. Nothing else. And if you are used to taking caffeine, then avoid. Black, just take black coffee, black tea, but not with the milk, or take it with almond or soy milk. So this was. Uh, this plan if you do once a month if there is a severe sign of toxicity or once in 3 months trust me people will clean their house so i mean at a for a chronic situations people actually come to india and make panchakarma in our clinic yeah. we also have facilities in germany where we do panchakarma people stay there sometimes they go and come back anything is fine so but that's for if you want to really stay youthful and get rid of a chronic situation but at home you can follow this and then so that's for cleaning the house and then you have to keep your house nourished ken bauna mm-hmm. i share a recipe for nourishing each and every t- tissues on a daily basis right so uh, i tell people that in general if you are healthy and you want to stay healthy then do clean your house regularly every once in 3 months in detox yeah and nourish your uh, self by taking this smoothie and this smoothie is nourishing all the tissues your brain your liver immune system metabolism it will take care of bones everything so it is like a perfect formula for nourishing and you feel super energy throughout the day yeah. in that you <coughs> you can take like quarter cup of spinach spinach the green leaves right you can take some ginger fresh one an inch mm-hmm. or powder uh, if you get am- amlaki or avla which is a indian gooseberry powder one teaspoon or you can add fresh fruit one and then uh, <clears throat> you can add avocado if you have a cholesterol situation uh, one fourth of avocado and flex it one tablespoon and uh, you can add some apple or pomegranate is very good for preventing heart problems so you can add pomegranate whole yeah, like some seeds quarter cup you know right and just or juice you can add no problem and just add some almond milk and 5 6 10 almonds and 5 walnuts right. and just make it smoothie this smoothie is so good and wow. if you exercising regularly like me i exercise a lot so i add some protein powder vegan pure protein powder mm-hmm. because from our current food even the people who are not vegetarian i am vegetarian personally but people who are not vegetarian they also don't get fully the protein needed yeah. so that will prevent injury if you take this regularly and if you want to keep your bones stronger you can add um, sesame seed powder right. two tablespoons you know because it has a natural calcium so these combination is helping to prevent the injuries in your life when you are exercising as you well were talking, you were talking about exercising how do you manage your exercise sleep diet everything as a whole yeah this is very important question bhavna you know first of all it is important that we should know who you are okay so ayurveda talks about vata pitta kapha constitution and who you are right. uh, and then you eat according to who you are 
number one. So just quickly, mm -hmm. because you learn Ayurveda in one go, right. but just quickly, if if some people are very prone easily to get angry, flare up so quickly, yeah. and rashes, even if it's not a skin problem, but very easily skin is sensitive when you get rashes or something easily, or acid reflux, headaches, these are signs that you are more pitta predominant. Right. Okay. You can know precisely who you are through the pulse reading, and that's very powerful, you know. Yeah. Um, I, do, I do come to New York. I'll be in New York in July. Yeah. But but these are little signs, you know. If you get this sign, then avoid completely uh, sour, fermented, and spicy chili food, and use every day yeah. cumin coriander and fennel tea you mean coriander and fennel tea for example now bombay i'm in bombay right now yeah. it's so hot it's my god super hot so instead of water i'm drinking cumin coriander fennel tea every day it keeps me cool i don't feel a lot of heat in my body anymore i can tolerate yeah so <clears throat> that's what you need to do the second type is kapha so there is always a mixture of vata pitta vata kapha etc but in general who you are you should find out the second type is kapha type where those people gain easily weight and of course nowadays because of hormonal imbalances we do gain a lot of weight so that's a different story but it's not kapha but besides weight they, there are also signs that you have some growth in your body cyst fibroid or blockages ar arterial blockages different growth situations you know so that's a sign of kapha easily you get respiratory allergies if those are different signs then you should completely avoid milk and gluten type of products a lot of people gut, gut issues mm -hmm. bloated that we that's the third thing i will talk but so if there is any cough any allergy you know i mean the spring is gone but sometimes people do get summer grass allergy in mm -hmm. in new york and yes Florida, texas these areas they get this grass allergy in this season you know so you can actually do this herbal formula quickly which reduces kapha and that herbal tea will be very good for you so 10 basil leaves and 10 mint leaves you can add one single black pepper right. and half an inch ginger crush it boil it make like a tea add a teaspoonful of turmeric and drink this warm tea throughout the day constantly it's very effective for preventing allergies and if you keep drinking it regularly it helps a lot mm -hmm. of course i mean <clears throat> chronic allergy you need to take some very deep powerful herbal formulas but this is something that can help uh, at least little bit you yeah. know support okay and the last one is vata so vata type of people are very thin they always have wavering mind they change their the sleep is very disturbed always and <clears throat> they 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 feel always uh, tired easily the energy is very high and suddenly boo, there is right. complete tension of energy just in few like they begin so much with high energy but in few hours there is such a exhaustion mm -hmm. so that really vata and they also get aches and pain and lower back pain and knee pain arthritis and uh, depression fear anxiety and there's a lot of this uh, uh, emotional issues very sensitive you know mm -hmm. so that's really vata type and these people should ideally in order to calm down vata stay away from raw food salads etc if they want to take something raw they should juice it out because when you juice it yeah, it becomes a liquid form then it doesn't increase vata and you still have a prana from the food you know the life life energy of the food mm -hmm. and and if somebody has really joints and aches and uh, all these sleep issues they can at night you know take this home remedy very powerful you can take ginger tea add a teaspoonful of turmeric in that warm ginger tea and a teaspoonful of castor oil very important a teaspoonful of castor oil when they drink it at night they'll have a peaceful sleep 
plus also they, their joint pain slowly slowly will reduce it will support them completely of course for arthritis i mean you have to do something very deep which we can discuss later and <clears throat> so that's what you need to know who you are roughly and eat accordingly the secondly <clears throat> agni if your digestion is poor if your gut health is poor you feel bloated all the time constipation loose stool low energy nervousness uh, in your nervous system these are yeah. signs of ibs or the poor gut health or poor agni we call it then eat everything which you can digest and avoid in general gluten dairy deep fried and junk food and sometimes if you take it next meal balance it you know life is all about balancing yeah. so if you eat something wrong don't feel guilty oh why did i eat i can't stop in fact i tell people cheat once a week so at least there is no craving uh, right <laughs> and next next meal you can have just vegetable soup or mung soup so you feel immediately light and you clear up the toxins created from that yeah. so <clears throat> and then thirdly of course eat always what which, which can nourish you so you can prevent injuries particularly and remain healthy so i gave you the smoothie recipe which is the nourishing formula to take every day every day and in general you know make sure that you have enough protein enough calcium vitamin d in through your diet or you are exposed to the sunlight for vitamin d so that when you work out and coming to the your next question about my fitness and workout yes so this was about the food i hope it is clear about now it was wonderful i got so much knowledge and i knew exactly what type i fall in and i know what i'm going to do that is the thing because i am a big uh, ginger shot person as soon as there is allergy season here there is a winter here i'm the first one to remove the ginger turmeric and the lemon and just have the ginger shots ready for the whole week so i cannot wait to add all these things and just try it for myself This was beautiful. Thank you so much for this information. So Bhavna, there are a lot of my followers who are joining. Sure. The, the blue baby, be happy, feel beautiful. Yeah. These people are asking. They they miss the smoothie formula. So I guess we will probably put it again, right? Yes. This this will video will be on our uh, pages, both of our pages, so yeah. they can go back and they can look at each of the recipe. <laughs> Uh, with the proportion that you said they can look at what type of digestive system they fall into and what they need to do to work on their sleep everything they yeah. will find it on the pages for sure perfect perfect and we'll make a small capsules and put it too so that was wonderful now last uh, the, the you did ask me question about fitness program uh, yeah i do believe that <clears throat> and ayurveda says that you should exercise and the right time according to ayurveda to exercise is in the morning yes yeah in the morning when you wake up uh, it depends on what's your constitution like if you are you have a metabolic slow down yes. then you don't need to take carbs but take a, otherwise you drink some carbs or something you know in a juice form and then you exercise right in the morning for one hour so i do it six times a week it's wow. very important for me because <clears throat> i'm already more than i'm i'm becoming 62 now and <clears throat> don't it's look important. 62 let me tell uh, you you look so 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 young and the way you've maintained yourself that's beautiful <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> so <clears throat> so <clears throat> what i do is i i do this detox i do once a year uh, full panchakarma just to keep myself very healthy because it's like a servicing your car you service your car mm -hmm. once a year or periodically and the old car you need to service more often so i am getting old so i am old car i have, oh. i service and through panchakarma every one and a half years 
<laughs> so just to keep it always going lubricated you know literally that panchakarma is like servicing the car because you flush out all the toxins from the joint so right. that's the first stage of panchakarma and then we do the greasing yeah. of yeah. the joint you know like they do it in the car we do the greasing through oiling therapy yeah. and that makes everybody very clear in their mind flexible and free from the disease for a long time so <clears throat> but beside that the, for the fitness Mm-hmm. regularly one should always have three good mixture of fitness program right some some people are extremely yoga 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 some people only gym 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 some people only run 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 aerobic there should be a good mixture yeah i personally i am i am pitta kapha constitution you know i am borderline kapha as well so <clears throat> i can tend gain weight very quickly and for that reason i need 20 minutes i start with the warm up and then i do a uh, uh, aerobic workout i actually dance wow almost minutes every day I literally I, yeah i because i get very bored with the monotonous workout yeah. so sometimes i run sometimes i dance but mostly i love to dance so i love i do hardcore bhangra wow. and gar- wow. jumping dipping movements so are very sweaty very sweaty in 20 minutes and then i will follow that by the weight training every day i i believe the weight training is very important particularly after 45 years of age because the bone and muscle mass is losing so you need to gain bone and muscle mass through your exercise routine and that's why i take light weights like 3 kg 5 kg and i uh, twice a week upper body weight training and twice a week uh, the abs and the middle body with the weights and twice a week the lower body with the weights so that. that's my routine and then uh, then i finish it by uh, the stretches Uh, which includes many of the yoga stretches i do love to do v split uh, there are videos on my instagram me doing a v split actually <laughs> literally i can do it uh, even now at this age i'm very flexible i can touch my nose to the knees and um, i'm really able to do those things so i do lot of stretching and especially i do recommend people to do definitely the halasan and sarvangasan these two things and and uh, surya namaskar also can be added uh, uh, and besides that i do stretching to reverse all this uh, whatever workout I, so if i did the upper body then i'll do the upper body stretches uh, the hands and all i want to relax it again make sure that you relax your muscles Uh, in the stretching in the in the cool down process so there is no injury it is very important we follow these steps so that you don't get any injury and in the nourishment uh, fit, to have the ideal fitness goal it is important that you nourish your bones and muscles regularly right. so i think actually waist scale d uh, capsules which ayushakti has but it has essentially very organic um uh, uh, a natural uh, dried uh, uh, seaweed you know which has a lot of calcium it has a huge amount of calcium natural magnesium vitamin k and vitamin d from the mushroom so it's a organic thing so I, it I, it maintains it absorbs very quickly in my bones so i take it regularly so that i don't get any injury because if the bones and muscles and joints are weak you can definitely get injury right. i take every day ayushakti's niramay which is essentially ashwagandha um and uh, th- that's for my muscles really and my protein content i keep it always a bit higher so 70 80 grams a day through the diet and vegan protein powder in my smoothie so that's typically the program i follow and i would recommend that everybody in order to stay healthy should follow that follow that definitely <clears throat> i cannot believe that you are so fit at this age and so enthusiastic 
with your <laughs> diet with your uh, uh, exercise with your workout and you like you uh, said have a mixture of all of it you know do yeah. your gym workout do your weights yeah. do your stretches yeah. do your cardio everything is important that's how the really? body keeps moving yeah. it's flexible it's yeah. moving around in a healthy way so yeah. that's beautiful yeah very, very important very yes very important <laughs> you were talking about the injury why you know uh, it's important to do the cool down phase the stretches like me as a physical therapist i um, that's one of the most important things that i face uh, a lot of patients that i see that have the injuries because they don't stretch properly or they have tight muscles so mm -hmm. i wanted to um, ask you how do you what kind of injuries do you face and how do you take care of those injuries i want to share actually my own story because i am really fitness freak literally okay that's not new it is for last 20 years <laughs> i <I've> been... <laughs> i also go <laughs> i'm literally fitness freak everybody my son you know uh, 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 he he says you are really a freak <laughs> because i don't give up a single day of workout and at least once or twice a year i go on a track you know himalayan track which is where i i track from 6000 uh, feet uh, 2000 meter height yeah up to 4000 meters you know wow. in like That's very awesome. very very huge i love trekking so uh, that's that's and that's i don't want to give up on that ever so i want to share a real story of mine and this is typical story of everybody yeah. and actually men also has and i want to share two stories one mine and one a, a, a very uh, a renowned athlete from Brit britain great britain uk so people can understand how they can prevent injury you know and why injury happens so basically when i was 45 you know i became 45 i entered perimenopausal stage my hormones changed and in spite of doing the same routine every day i gained 8 kilos suddenly in 3 months i was so shocked so i started some natural ayurvedic program and and that everybody can use i will share that recipe right now because i think women more than 45 should take it so that they don't suddenly bloat right. so 1 teaspoon each of cumin coriander and fennel right powder half a teaspoon of uh, ginger powder okay one pinch of asafoetida uh -huh. and half a teaspoon of black salt so you combine this together and mix it in half a glass of water and drink it two or three times a day as soon as you become 42 trust me this is amazing because it keeps your hormones naturally balanced it's not yeah. any chemical there but it helps your own body to balance hormones and it will prevent lot of bloating and joint stiffness and the mood swings and all those things from the hormones yeah. so I started taking that and i had to change my routine i was doing only yoga earlier and hatha yoga literally but i had to add hardcore dancing that's when i started dancing you know yeah. i used to dance earlier i been do it for 20 years i was athlete i was a champion in water sports when i in when in 1983 when i was just 21 years of age then i stopped because i was very busy traveling across the world and helping humanity so but this reminded me that i need to do now that kind of workouts i started and i lost weight with of course reducing carbs coming to the fitness people after 45 you have to cut down on the carbs that applies for men and women both right. because before that you can handle carbs easily but now the body is not really the metabolism is going down slowly and it happens in men too their testosterone gra gradually reduces okay it reduces every year by 1 or 2 3% but while women their estrogen drops suddenly so that that's a difference i mean that's why it is visible but men also go through kind of a menopause type of symptoms so i would whatever i am saying is applicable to both actually so 
I did that and I lost weight again wow. and I maintained weight. By age 50, suddenly one day I I had a crack while doing step ups. In step up. Yeah, I was doing step ups and my ankle suddenly got twisted. Maybe I was not very careful. But then with that little twist, I had a crack. Okay. So wow. <laughs> because my bone started becoming brittle and that's when I realized my calcium, I have to take every day natural calcium. Because chemical calcium, you know, is partly absorbed. Mm -hmm. So I started in my diet through the spinach almond sesame i planned it in a way that i get 1000 milli, uh, milligram calcium every day only from my diet i changed yeah. it and so in the smoothie you have 10 almonds two tablespoon of sesame quarter cup of spinach this is good enough to give you 1000 milligram calcium per day right but you can still and i took some ayushakti's uh, sandhikel formula just to keep my bones again healthy and my bone density improved and I didn't have any injury until I became 55 very interesting and that's why I'm sharing this because all women and men go through that when we age we need to support our body a little bit more nutritionally and using natural supplements so when I was 55 that's the time actually my menstruation stopped of course menopause already happened yeah and one day when I was working out and didn't follow the cool down process properly, I should have done it, but I didn't. And I was dancing for one hour heavily, heavily. Wow. Uh, and didn't do the cool down procedure as necessary. Right. I had a, all the three band hamstring tear. No. Oh <laughs> all three band <laughs> tear. Over tone, I had such a huge pain behind my thighs, huge pain, burning, redness. Suddenly, in just one hour's time, I thought it is a injury related with exercise. I went to physiotherapist, physical therapist, and she did some testing and she, and she said, I think there's it's there is some muscle injury. You do the MRI. Yeah. So I did MRI. And I found this three band torn. My doctor said that you have to do a complete bed rest. I was wow. heavy. already in a week's time. There was a huge tour of mine booked at least 600 clients across Europe and UK. I said, I cannot cancel this. <laughs> I went on the wheelchair everywhere. <laughs> oh my God, on a wheelchair. Yeah. But what I did was I made my excessive protein in my diet. Right. Um, I, I put a pack to which is very much healing the muscle injury every day. It is only made with the dates, some ashwagandha and few other herbs, turmeric. And I made this pack. I just applied it because you can't touch. You know, when there is muscle injury, you can't touch. Yeah. But you can just put a pack. So that I just put a pack, didn't do anything else. And on that a cotton, so it remained there for a few hours and I was working. When I came back, you will not believe me, I did MRI in like five weeks with this program and some Niramay formula, which I told you, and protein, high protein, right. Ashwagandha Niramay formula. It repaired and my actually my hamstring was almost repaired, they said, in the and and now I'm doing V split within three months. My hamstring was so flexible. I was back to doing my normal routine. Mm -hmm. Then I realized that, that because of the hormone changes, the muscle became dry. And that's why there was this like a rubber band, you know, muscles are like a rubber band. I mean, just for general masses, I'm telling you know about it, but they are like rubber band. They, they just contract and expand, contract and expand. Mm -hmm. But when they are dry, they lose their agility, flexibility, and they, and if you try to stretch them too much, they will break. That's what happened to me. So I started doing every morning a good fat, which I still do every morning and everybody should do it in a form of one teaspoon of ghee. Yeah. with this cumin coriander fennel tea so that everything remains lubricated yeah. see i can do workout at this age because 
I really take care of myself in Ayurvedic and nutritional way. And that's how my body is still able to perform the workout. So what do you think about dehydration? Because uh, uh, that that's a big thing. That that the uh, stands for bauna. You you I forgot it. Yeah, drinking at least two liters to three liters of water very important. But make sure you do, don't drink before the food and after the food immediately. Okay, because then you are diluting digestive enzymes. Okay, but throughout the day drink the water you know drink this is the best drink you can have i recommend people always i mean for intermittent fasting also you know a lot of people do intermittent fasting but there is a technique to that you should understand who you are so people who are kapha really kapha they can do actually easily yeah eight eating 16 hours of fasting <laughs> but people who are uh, they cannot do that. They have. They can do only twelve hours of eating, uh, fasting, and twelve hours of eating. Wow! While pitta people should do fourteen hours of fasting and ten hours of eating bracket. And eating bracket, Ayurveda says eat only twice a day. Yeah. You know, original scripture says only twice a day. So eat twice a day in between. If you are hungry have some fruits or liquid okay. but don't eat anything grain and cereals and all of those things you know because then you will maintain your metabolism and health very well wow i love that and drink a lot of water yeah drink a lot of water in between you were talking about the protein i agree with you like uh, while i was studying nutrition mm -hmm. the best way to heal is to have proteins and water lots of protein lots of water and your muscle strain you you will be healing yourself that's it exactly it is so important so important yeah thank you for that information i love that that was like this is like my ayurvedic course that is going on <laughs> it's so informative for all of our audience also out there yeah, we do teach Ayurveda to everybody. Yeah. There is a hundred days training. You can learn from that as well. And you can learn pulse reading with me if you want, Bauna. A lot of physicists come to us to learn. Yeah, no, you, you're coming to New York, so we're going to catch up. Yeah. I, yes, absolutely. I will show you New York around and we can you can teach me all about this. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me a little bit more about um, like Ayu Shakti. How did you start that program and what it is right now? You are so smart, Bhavna. You ask the right question always. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, yeah, actually, me and my late husband, we started practicing since 1987. And we were already in 88, we were invited to speak at a very big uh, medical conference in Italy. And then we traveled and we started training the doctors in pulse reading. But they were very fascinated how you can tell from the pulse what's happening in your body, mind, emotions. So precisely, we want to learn that. So I've trained like 500, almost 500 medical professionals across the world. There are medical, medical doctors, chiropractors, physical therapists, acupuncturists, naturopath, Ayurvedic doctor, all of them, you know, 500 or so in my life. So this, uh, <clears throat> so we, we were really traveling and we, in fact, a lot of my students have published many research papers on depression, anxiety, dermatitis, autoimmune, arthritis, respiratory, infertility. They, they actually demonstrated that this Siddha Veda type of healing, our traditional Siddha Veda, Ayurveda healing is really working very well. So by 99, you know, I got pregnant in 1999. Uh, I delivered a baby, sorry. Pregnancy was 18, 98. I had to stop traveling. <laughs> and that time we were constructing our uh, uh, flagship clinic in, in, in Mumbai. Yeah. Ayusha Clinic. Huh? Very beautiful clinic. People come here and stay for 
several weeks make panchakarma it's very 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 nice very effective wow. so i was nurturing two babies one my boy and the clinic that was the time when i stopped traveling and it made me think what's my purpose of life yeah. very deeply and my guru my my guru baba ji he taught me a very deep process of how to find purpose of life yeah and he gave me some mantras to be which can help you get clear and connect with a uh a uh, higher channel yeah by which you can actually understand and get the insight like a uh, like a blueprint in your life what's your purpose of life so when i started thinking i was always very good in training doctors uh, you know in our professional life with me and my late husband working together i was excellent in training doctors that is where i really mastered so i got this very big vision and i i felt that my purpose of life is actually to spread and my guru always said you have to teach people you have to teach people you have to teach people yes. so that's where i got the blueprint that now i have to devote my life for the humanity yeah. i have to give it back to them yeah. because we really were so successful that i was thankful and grateful to the god and i'm still so grateful that i have been given this opportunity to serve millions and millions of people on this planet we have served like more than 1.7 million consultations through our doctors team across the world actually in many different countries so i was feeling very grateful to that and i thought it's time to give back to the society and yeah. that's where vision came where it showed that i need to start a yu shakti chain of clinics because when we trained the doctors i saw that they need constant training and support yeah. because, because you know in natural healing is something where uh, uh, still there is too much trial and error yeah. while by that time we we had with god's grace so many clients and we published like so far now we have published 50 plus research papers in us british wow. european journals but so we really saw a, a, a specific method which works for a, more than 300 different kinds of health conditions where it can improve the quality of life and support and sometimes independently even get rid of them forever in your life so i thought this is my purpose and that is why we started ayushakti clinic uh, where we started spreading training doctors um, uh, helping them constantly whenever they are stuck uh, we have a mentor team who constantly are available to guide them so we have a, all the all over the world i think that there are more than 200 active practitioners right now and anybody gets stuck they have a mentor so they ask the mentor and mentor will guide them so much that there will be a result and through the result there will be a referral generated and that is how one of my student for example jo formosa from australia she was seeing only 30 clients a month and now she is seeing 30 clients a day wow just organic referral her practice became three three years she read that it was so large it, it just grew by around 10 15 times without any marketing efforts so that's what happens when you give results in a people cases where there is nothing working referrals are created yeah. and so my purpose i think is that's how ayushakti started i wanted to help and support practitioners doctors health practitioners who wanted to help humanity using natural healing yeah. and i wanted to help humanity beyond my life and i wanted to have this siddha veda lineage stay alive in the form of practitioners across the world yeah and that is why we started ayushakti clinic that's the purpose i love that congratulations for such a big achievement Thank what's the point you. of learning and so much knowledge if you cannot share it and you're doing Absolutely. such a beautiful job by sharing it to so many people teaching them you're teaching one people they're going to teach more they're going to yeah. teach more 
that yeah. is how our culture and our Indian uh, heritage will always be alive. I love that. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> Thanks for for appreciating. We have such beautiful comments. Oh, I, my big love to you. My big love to you. <laughs> That's so lovely. We need to. I I wanted to ask you though. I haven't seen your dance video online. That is something I really need to watch. I will. Put Posted. I'm a bit shy because I'm not an expert, but the low people say I dance very well. But I, you know, I'm a bit shy. That's why. <laughs> I would love to see that. Oh no, you will see it. Oh yes, no, it is there on Ayushakti channel. Oh, it's on the channel. Yeah. Okay. Ayushakti channel. You know, we have a, a student three years path training going on. Path yeah. training is. Yes, training recognized by Ayush Department of uh, Ministry of Health in India, but also it is registered in NAMA. Uh, so people who go through these three years training, they they will be certified practitioner and they can do a diet and lifestyle coaching uh, in America. So we have like students from 40 different countries and and they come once a year for practical training and so we had a celebration time where we were all dancing and, they, and I was dancing and they put the video there so you can see me there <laughs> I'm going to go and watch it right away <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's such a beautiful thing that you're doing um, like my my main aim for starting this channel was to spread awareness, to spread the knowledge and experience of those people who are already experts. You are an expert in Ayurveda. You are such a, you're a woman with so much knowledge. So it's yeah. so beautiful that you're able to share your journey. And it's like your guru taught you so well. You, you had such a good mentor to help you, to guide you, and to show that it's important to give that knowledge and not mm. to yourself. Right now, yeah. you gave yeah. me like a whole book worth of knowledge. Mm. That, that was mm. so beautiful. It's so amazing. I love that. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> yeah, I have just written uh, one book, which is Your Health in Your yeah. Hand. It is available on Amazon yeah. and it's translated in uh, German and Italian languages. Wow. Uh, also in Hindi languages. Plus, um, one book is published by Dr. Clint Roger on my late husband's work, Ancient Healing for, for Master of a Master yeah. Healer. Also a very good book. So people can gain this knowledge. And of course, we have a education website where people can go and learn. Um, uh, we have a 100 days training program, which is on ayushaktieducation.com. Uh, and uh, that can teach you uh, principles of health that you can use directly in your life and your family and friends' life. Yeah. So that's what people can gain knowledge naturally. And of course, I'm, we have a mentor team who trains a lot of doctors and practitioners, you know, yeah. uh, to help humanity in a natural way. Yeah. I can't wait for you to come to New York so I can, you know, uh, meet you in person and lo learn so much more like about the pulse reading and the small, small things like more recipes. I'm going to come with a book of myself. You know, just my wow. own book, I'll be like, please yeah, tell yeah. me what more recipes you have to share. <laughs> <laughs> Bhavna, you come and join 100 days training. I would you will be to. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a little difficult with the work uh, right now. Uh, it's not very difficult. Trust me, you don't have to give a lot of time. It's a self-paced training. So uh, it's pre-recorded. And okay. um, love to give you you are so interested in natural healing yeah. you will only share it with others so uh, i just want to give you as my my love to you my 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 it will be sponsored by me for you because i i feel so happy being yeah. with you yeah me too i love that okay send me the information let's we'll we'll, we'll do it we'll talk about it let's do it <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll I'll give you the information and we will put it in your uh, uh, our bio so people can join it if me if they want to. Definitely. And I would appreciate Gentle Blue Sky. I've never seen him or her, whoever, but but she have been or uh, this person have been really um, uh, my 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 fan, and uh, um, I feel so much love like a like my child for this person you know yeah. and i think would love to for everybody who are here really That's everybody sweet. what are what what is one piece of advice you would like to give everyone who's listening to us today <laughs> who loves to really listen to advice you know? <laughs> 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 Since you have asked, I would say, <laughs> first advice is don't listen to any free advices. <laughs> and ask for advices when you are stuck, and use it in your life, even if it is free. <laughs> Because <laughs> I think it's important you have your own learning, <laughs> and otherwise, in general, I always tell people, you know, whatever you want to do in your life, yeah. Okay. So I said, ask for advices when you are stuck, because constant learning is one trait nobody should ever, ever give up. So that's why I said, I never had. This Advice on my channel ever, <laughs> <laughs> and my panda is like this in life, you know. In order to get successful yeah. in anything, uh, whether you are raising a child, whether you are helping humanity, your business, or anything, yeah. it is important that first thing you remember that whatever you do has to improve their quality of life yes. because nobody is interested in taking your advice free or paid. I mean, to pay from their pocket, they need to really feel that you are going to help them. So it is important that focus focus on uh, their call improving their quality of life always and always. Focus on thinking about others how I can improve their life. See, in this uh, live also, I have given my one hour's time. More than that, yeah. I have only shared everything that can help humanity. This is my and and that's the prime purpose you have to live with you know you have to live by that goal if you have to you are uh, with a husband think how i can improve his or her spouse with the spouse his or her quality of life then you will get what you want to have from them so first is always think about others the second is that constantly never ever give up yeah. so Temporary defeat can come. Many people, you know, I have helped with the breaking of the relationship suddenly. I tell them, don't give up. Stay in relationship like a friend if you are really interested, and reverse your mistakes. Inspire them. Inspire them. Think how I can improve their quality of life unconditionally. They will come back to you. They will be loyal to you if you think about them. And it has happened, you know. It doesn't mean that you have to think about somebody who left you that they should come back. But I'm just giving you example. But if when you are in a relationship and you want, you are afraid of breaking. Don't move from the fear. Learn how I can inspire others. This is the second thing. Don't give up. Constantly learn how I can improve. Constantly learn in your business, your work, your profession. How I can improve. Don't give up. Don't give up at all. If you follow these two things, third, whatever goal you have in your life, you will achieve it. If not today, tomorrow. That yeah. is what simple thing I want to tell everybody. I love that. I love that. Hello. <laughs> I still love the first answer though. Who listens yeah. to advice yeah. nowadays? <laughs> Exactly. I've given so many free advice on this channel. I don't know who will listen, but at least it's not free. They have to spend their their uh, 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 time to watch it, so it's not free. They they will be paying in terms of time, so it is okay. Yeah. It's not free. <laughs> <laughs> what do you plan 
this for today? It's Saturday. What are you planning today? Uh, uh, thank you. No, Saturday is my off day. But are you That's why I'm working out? Like no, no, sir. I take one day off for workout and Saturday is my off. I don't take do workout on Saturday. It is a break day wow. and it is a cheap day. So in the evening, I will go out with my family and friends yeah. and eat some nice food. <laughs> and throughout the day, and, to, and, and today I will be learning new skills for, for uh, executing my vision and mission. Wow. Whatever. I need to learn. I will be learning that today by listening to good good videos and educational tapes, etc., etc. So that's my time today for creating the vision for next five years. And then evening, I'll have fun with my friends and family. And um, I, I do have a dance class, but that's not today. But I do have it twice a week. Oh, yeah. Besides my workout, I learn new recorded. steps. I need to, I, I have to see you dancing. <laughs> we will do that not, one day. <laughs> when you are in New York, I'm going to take you out for dancing. Okay, we do that. Sounds good. <laughs> I think I'll be too old in that young community, but it's okay. Oh my God, no, that is not true. <laughs> I think you will be the healthiest person there. Trust me. The fast food <laughs> in New York in US is bad. I think you will actually be the healthiest person there. I know, but if you intend, you can eat healthy food also in US. It is possible. Yes, yes. Like I meal prep, I, I love cooking uh, because I'm so used to having good warm food, desi food. So I love cooking myself and I'll, I like wow. to get pulses, moong dal. I love dal. That's my go-to comfort food here. So I'll make enough, you know, nice starch, good amount of starch, lots of dal. And I'll have like with good curd and uh, lots of uh, water with it. So, but it, it gets difficult sometimes with meal prepping. But mm. the smoothies that you told me about, I'm going to start using them because I do the ghee and cumin seed every morning. I'll have mm. uh, one one spoon of ghee along with the uh, boiled cumin seeds. Mm. And then I will have my protein shake because I have a long day and I need my protein. But I'll add oats and lots of fruits, lots of berries. Because like you said, women need to work on their hormone. So I like to have good blueberries, strawberries, avocado. Mm. So it helps with the hormones. Wow. Yeah, and it that's how I started. Yeah, I would say that people can put blueberries, strawberries, and all the berries in the smoothie instead of apple or pomegranate. It's a very, very good idea to take uh, berries. Yeah. yeah. Good food. Uh, you are on the path, huh, Bhavana? Yeah. I'm learning from the best. I'm, I'm, that's why I saw your face now. Like, no, I have to talk to her. She is so inspiring. She, like you said, you know, looking at you, it's like a ray of happiness, a ray of joy. So I was like, that's it. I have to speak to her. I have to have her on my channel and just, you know, talk about health. So this was amazing. I love that. Yeah, thank you for inviting Bhavna. I, you really asked me questions which really prompted me to say so many deep things. Wow. Yeah, Amazing. I love that. I love that you um, have your late husband in your memories and uh, you can tell like your, he inspired your life. He touched your life in so many ways and yes. not your yes. life. So many people out there that mm -hmm. don't yeah. even know so, yes. So it's yes. so uh, it's so pure. You know that love and that yes. feeling is so pure, and you can see yeah, that very much. Yeah, very much, very much. Yeah. Me, me and my son, Doctor Krishna Naram, we constantly remember him. We cherish his learnings and inspirations all the time. Yeah, definitely. What is one thing that you would like to tell to your younger eighteen-year-old self? I would only, 
always say if i was go back and be young again 18 years i would say keep doing what you did which is learning constantly when i was 18 i was learning for richly i was reading for richly books all the books of self development success communication uh, besides the medical books and uh, i was fitness freak already yeah and that helped way because of that habit you know because when you grow old yeah. you cannot it's difficult to start again but when you have habit it is easy to level up your workout patterns whenever necessary so i would say that i, I was athlete actually so i i was really working out every day at that time and i was a water sports champion as well in 1983 wow. so i was the skiing water skiing i was doing just in india uh, at state level but i stopped it because there was no time afterwards wow. so i would say that i would i should keep doing what i did which is constant learning at young age we we get lost in um i would say to myself that okay have fun once a week very important yes. you should have fun once a week and meet friends and have, go out and enjoy party uh but i would say that uh, uh, keep time for learning like fitness physical fitness is the uh, uh, muscle training for the physical body but reading and learning new things is the mental gymnastic that you need to do constantly so one hour reading learning is what i did in the past uh, when i was 18 i want to keep doing it again I want to keep doing that that's what i would tell to myself Hello. Uh, that's beautiful i want to use that piece of advice and just tell that same thing to myself maybe yeah yeah we all have to learn from each other definitely yeah. i love that i can't wait to see you here when you're in new york uh give yeah. me all the details we have to catch up i have to show you around and take you dancing yeah. of course <laughs> Oh, I I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Maybe I I I'll take my team with us for dancing. Please bring them, bring everyone. I would love to meet the whole team. I know we've been going back and forth with the team. I haven't seen them, but I feel like I have spoken to No, them. but Amer American team is different. You haven't met them. Oh, lovely. Let's do it. I want to meet yeah. everyone. We're going to go out and we we are going to, you know, I'm going to show you New York. It's going to be fun. We're going yeah. dancing. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, bye. Lovely. So see you then, Bauna. I think I need to leave now. It's too long. Thank you for for your time. Have a lovely day ahead. Bye-bye. Big, big love. Bye bye. Namaskar to everybody. Namaskar. Lots of love. I am with you. and i love you all bye bye thank you bye <laughs> bye thank you for listening to our talk about health you can follow me on instagram at bhavna.devnani on facebook at bhavna devnani and we'll leave all the information in the description below thank you